Hi friends, Professor Joe here. I hope you all are doing great. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss about traders' psychology. What are the mistakes a trader do because of their psychological pressure? Why does it happen and what are its solutions? These are the things that we are going to discuss in this video. This video is going to become very, very interesting. So kindly do not skip anything and watch till the end. And friends, if you have still not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell icon. As I keep creating a lot of educational videos on trading, stocks, crypto, options, and many other such related topics. Let us now get back to our topic. The human side of every person is the greatest enemy of the average investor or speculator, Jesse Livermore. Jesse Livermore is the greatest trader of the 19th century. He made $100 million in 1929 when the global market crashed. So he is one of the greatest traders and this is what he has to say, that the human side of every person is the greatest enemy of an average investor or speculator. Why only average investor or speculator? Why didn't he say the expert investor or speculator? Because the experts are able to control their human side. So if you really want to make money in the markets, you have to control your human side. You need to learn to control your fear, your greed, your overconfidence your confirmation bias. If you are not able to control these things, you will make a lot of mistakes while trading. Trading is a psychological game. It puts a lot of pressure on you every time you enter a trade, especially if you are over trading or if you are infusing a huge size of your equity into a trade. So it's very, very important to understand the psychology. Understand what are the normal mistakes that a trader do and keep them away from you. Try to avoid them. So let us see some of the common psychological mistakes that a trader do. The first psychological mistake, FOMO, fear of missing out. This happens to new traders and traders who have spent a lot of time in the markets too. You have to learn to overcome FOMO. When a trader is a prey to FOMO, what happens? Every time a trader sees a setup which is just happening, it's not complete yet, it's just happening, FOMO comes in. Will I miss out this opportunity? This looks like one of the best opportunity and I think that once I enter into this trade, all the losses that I had till now, I'll be able to recover from this trade. So let me not lose this opportunity and enter into the trade even before the setup is ready. So what happens? The setup is not ready. The signal has not yet come, but because of FOMO, the trader enters a trade. What happens because of this? Because of this, sometimes the setup does not happen and the trade goes into a loss. Because of this attitude, the trader also get into many trades which he was not supposed to enter. Because of this, there is over trading happening. And what happens when there is over trading? A lot of losses happen. And when losses happen, there is more frustration. The worst thing is when somebody is looking at these things, they find it so funny. Why is this person entering into the trade even before the setup is ready? Because the trader is not able to control his mind, he enters into the trade. So how can you control your mind and stay away from foam? The most important thing a trader need to understand that missing a trade is okay in trading. Because there are so many financial instruments. You can pick up a few of them and master them. So if you miss an opportunity in one, you will get an opportunity in the next one. So you don't have to worry. It's okay to lose an opportunity. Second, having no position is also a position. Because when you're not having a position, you have not infused any equity. So that way you're protecting your equity. So having no position is also a position where you're protecting your equity. The next important and the most important part of trading is Plan your trade and then trade your plan. Never go out of this. If you can do this, you will become a very, very successful trader. Social media that give you signal, don't follow them. You can listen to them, no doubt. You all are in the same community, so you can listen to them. 
but trade only as per your plan as per your research as per your learning as per your practice trade only as per that and finally enter into a trade when only you are fully convinced that your setup is ready and now you can enter in this process if you are missing some trades let it go don't worry about it. the stock market is a device for transferring money from the impatient to the patient warren buffett the most successful investor of the 20th and 21st century what does warren buffett say over here you have to be patient to make money so don't be impatient so forget foam don't worry about foam just focus on your strategy and only enter when a trade gives you the right or perfect entry the next big psychological problem a trader faces is revenge trading this is very very dangerous revenge trading happens because of ego when a trader enters a trade and when it goes in loss the trader feels that i cannot be wrong i am so knowledgeable person it's impossible so what happens the trader want to now take revenge from the market so they average with very very heavy lot size or heavy infusion of equity sometimes the market returns back and you may come out of this position but if the market continues in the same direction what happens your entire account gets blown it's because of ego and revenge trading because of revenge trading again the trader is overtrading infusing higher lot size and that is when the frustration and anger comes when you lose a little bit money you say it's okay no problem but when you lose a big amount now you get frustrated and you're angry you want to do something in the market and that is what you have to avoid so what are the things you can do as a trader to avoid this psychological problem of revenge trading the most important thing you need to understand as a trader is there is not a single strategy in this world that can give you 100% profit you have to accept this fact that there will be losses there will be profits it's a part of the game the second important thing is enter the trade with a part of your equity maybe 1% maybe half a percent do not infuse too much until and unless you have become an expert because when you infuse less and you lose that amount the frustration is not there so you have a cool mind you can focus on your next trade another important thing to avoid this issue is do not focus on short term like every single day i trade at the end of the day i have to win some money no think about long term at the end of 100 trades will i be able to win 60 trades that way you will be more focused on 100 trades rather than that one single trade can i be profitable at the end of 3 months can i be profitable at the end of 6 months or can i be profitable at the end of a year so when you have a long term focus one trade will not affect your mindset you will have clear focus on what you have to do you will maintain your discipline after the bull market people with money is left with experience and the people with experience is left with money ramesh damani the legend of indian equity markets see the legend is telling that people with experience will make money in the stock markets so if you revenge trade and if you lose your equity you are out of the market from where are you going to gain the experience so you will be like the first lot you lose the money and you are gaining experience it is better gain experience and make money from the market so avoid revenge trading stay in the market for a long time have a long term plan and make money from the markets the next psychological problem a trader has is loneliness isolation and boredom Now trading is a business where you are doing everything in isolation. You are sitting alone. You are doing your analysis. You are trading. Sometimes this can take a toll on your mind. You feel that there is nobody to ask you anything, nobody to support you, nobody to stand by you, and this causes emotional distress, which leads to impulsive trading decisions. And when you get into impulsive trading decisions and you stay away from your trading plan. you again get into over trading so loneliness and isolation can get into your mindset and this can create a lot of trouble trading is actually very very boring because if you are trading like an expert 
you are waiting for your setup to happen. So you're just waiting, doing nothing. When the setup happens, then you enter the trade. And after that, again, you're doing nothing because now you're waiting for the trade to give its result, whether it's a stop loss or a take profit. So it's a very, very boring activity. Because of this restlessness, sometime a trader want to bring excitement into their trading. And in this process of bringing excitement, they go and overtrade. And when they overtrade, again, the same problem. You lose trades because it's not as per your plan. And this creates frustration. So as a trader, what can you do to avoid this psychological problem of loneliness, isolation and boredom? The most important thing in this situation is self-care. You need to take good care of your health, your body and your mind. You need to exercise daily and you need to meditate. Both these things are very, very important. Control your eating habits so that you feel healthy. Spend time with your family and friends. And when you're with them, talk about different topics, not about trading. Invest your time in learning new things. Research about trading. Keep updating yourself with the overall market, what is happening in the markets. Also try to build hobbies. Like while you're waiting for your setup to happen or while you're waiting for the trade to give its result. Have some hobbies like reading books, listening to music. This will surely help you to use that time in something that you really love to. This way, as a trader, you can avoid the psychological problem of loneliness, isolation and boredom. Remember, the stock market is a place for people who are mentally strong. It is not for people who are mentally weak. If you want to make money in the stock market, you have to be a very, very strong person mentally. Always use your research, your learning and your experience to enter into a trade. Focus on your strategy. If you do not do these things, then the stock market is a place where you're going to go and donate your money. So remember, practice, patience and persistence. These are very, very important things for a trader. And when you do these things, you become psychologically strong. You are able to overcome these psychological problems. And in the long run, you can make money from the stock markets. Friends, I have written a book. Traders, you can win, but first learn to lose. This book talks about taking small losses while you are wrong and taking big profits when you are a winner. It also speaks about traders' psychology. It also speaks about a couple of trading strategy. So if you're interested, it's available on Amazon and Kindle. Friends, if you love the way I'm creating videos, please like and share these videos. So like you, there might be many others who want to learn trading the right way. This will surely help them too. Friends, I have created a lot of videos and I'll be creating many more videos. Kindly subscribe to my channel and ring the bell icon so that Whenever I create a video and upload it on YouTube, you will be the first person to be notified. All I can say is keep learning, keep growing. Before I sign out, I just want to tell you, I have the link for my trading training videos. Kindly go through them. It will be helpful for you. Thank you. Namaskar.